Good. Now we have 10.3 representing graph in the matrix. Heminoids are representing by matrix. Okay, dears, which matrix we have? Okay. Now, you know, we have a representing like a vertex. For example, we have a vertex adjacent vertices means that A is the neighbor of ACE. Look, when I say adjacent, I told you, what's adjacent for the, in the angle? You know. For example, we have theta, here's adjacent, right? This opposite, and that's hypotenuse, right? So we have adjacent, means that the line, the line that is, in could you say, tanish. So it's close to you. So what's the adjacent of A, B, C, E? Like, how about D, C, E? Understood. This is one representation. How about the table? You know, A, for example, B, let me say B. B have what? B is adjacent with what? With D and itself. So B is the directed one. It's difference between that one and that one. So during the exam, maybe you have two, two graphs, and I say find the adjacent, or find the table of the adjacent. Here's the table of adjacent, list of the adjacent. Understood? Hello? That one, I connected. How? For example, two more, two understanding more. Look at the adjacent of A. Yalla, tell me. B, C, you are right. D, E. How about if I have A like that? You see also, because you have an inner loop. Or let just be the first. The second, we have adjacency matrices. Means that adjacency that they are connect, they related. How? As we have in this example. Look. We have A, B, C, D. So I'm going to write A, B, C, D. Of course, this is the column. The same thing we have for row. If I have A with A, I'm going to write A. If I don't have it, I'm going to write zero. How about A and B? Yes. How about A and C? Yes. How about A and D? Yes. How about B with A? Yes. How about B with B? No. How about B with C? Yes. How about B? We don't have it. And go on. Easy. We saw that one before. Right? We have a relation. We make a relation as a graph and we change it to the matrices. Do you remember that? So the same. Good. And I'm going to leave that on for you as homework. It's easy. Each, each row, huh? two, 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 two. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can see. Now we have a different matrix here. Look. Also that one's homework. Okay. Y is three, Jamaat. Yeah. So A with B, we have three edges. That's fine. Maybe you say one and zero. No, here is just different. How about indecence matrix? The indecence matrix, okay, incidence, sorry, matrix, is the relation between edge and vertex. Okay, Kaka? Edge and vertex. Yalla. Final exam. What do you mean? Look. We have a V1, V2, V3, and of course, between V1 and V4, we have an edge 1, E2, E3, E4, whatever you recalled. Understood? So, I say what? I say, how many edges do I have? How many vectors do I have? Edge, let be edge be the column. And let the vertices be the row. Now, I'm going to ask myself, Yalla kaka. V1 with E1 with E2, right? So with the rest, zero. Am I right? So E1, E2, zero. How about V2? E3, four, six. Am I right? One, two, three. Like that. Easy? Did you understand? Good. So I'm going to leave that one as a homework. And that's all about the lecture.